By the time y'all get it, the show gonna be over. Are you guys ready for your next comedian? Yes! He's an active duty seller from Jacksonville, Florida. Put your hands together for Charles Fowler. Hello, everyone. Uh, so before I start, I actually want to uh, apologize to you. I'm actually really excited to be here. Uh, however, my voice is not. I left that at home. So you're going to get your boring uh, fifth grade math teacher voice from me. So. <laughs> Um, so I recently just made a visit over to Portsmouth Naval Hospital, which um, I don't know if you guys have ever been there before. Um, it's a massive hospital. Um, but every hospital that I go to, as soon as those automatic front doors come open, my brain shuts off. I just, I can't navigate those buildings. And so what's made worse is that I'm actually hobbling into this hospital and I am looking for the emergency room because uh, my butt is injured. So um, it's not the most convenient uh, injury. So uh, fortunately, a member of the staff, uh, she notices that I have no idea where I'm at and I'm hobbling. So she escorts me to the emergency room like a lost son looking for his parents. And so while I'm in the, uh, the check-in line, I'm looking at the people in the hospital and it feels like I just walked into a Civil War field hospital. <laughs> Um, which, in case you actually didn't know, uh, cool history fact, that hospital actually served service members during the Civil War, right? Um, and if you go into their waiting room, you can still see some of them waiting for their appointments. <laughs> so I make it to the, uh, the check-in line, and I can already tell that the lady at the desk is sassy. She's elderly. I'm like, okay, I need to, make, I need to explain what this illness is in the most mature way that I can. So I get up to her and she asked me, well, sir, what's your injury? And I just blurred out, my butt hurts. <laughs> and without missing a beat, she says, yeah, most of your generation is. <laughs> so she then asked me how I, uh, what caused the injury. And so I tell her, I was like, well, I, I think I may have sat down too hard. Now I'm 31 years old. If I'm hurting myself from sitting down, it's all downhill at this point. <laughs> There's no hope. I'm just one bar stool away from just essentially paralyzing myself. <laughs> so I then see a nurse come out uh, with a wheelchair and I actually get really excited because that it just feels very VIP to get pushed in a wheelchair. Like it's really sad when you have to like, you know, roll yourself, but like I have to stop myself from princess waving as we're passing people in the hallway. <laughs> And when we get to the room, they put me into a gown. So now I'm living my full Disney princess fantasy, wearing my gown, just stepping off my chariot. I'm laying in a bed waiting for people to attend to me. It's amazing. <laughs> so um, in the span of about an hour, five nurses have already come in and they've seen my butt. And I'm starting to get the feeling that they're just telling people to come in here and look at it like it's some sideshow attraction. <laughs> And now my mother has raised me better than that. She has taught me to never show off my butt for free. <laughs> so no one here has come in. They've, they haven't tipped me. They haven't offered me a date. It's, it's actually kind of rude. And, you know, as, as the man who has half a Kardashian butt, I feel a little insulted. <laughs> so finally a doctor comes in and I tell her, look, if one more person comes in here, I'm going to start charging admission. And she assures me that she's going to be the last one. So I said, okay, fine, we're going to do this. So I'm bent over, and she's looking at me. And this whole time, I'm thinking of different questions I'm asking. Her. Like, what do I need to ask her? Like, do I, like, how much longer do I need to live? Um, <laughs> is it Instagram worthy? Like, please tell me. <laughs> and so she finally tells me that it's cellulitis, which is very easy. It's very treatable. And so I'm like, okay, well, awesome. That's great. But then she tells me that she wants to schedule a follow-up appointment, which means I have to go back to this hospital. So if you happen to be in Portsmouth Naval Hospital and you see me roaming around, just know this, I am lost and I need your help. <laughs> and if you do help me, I guarantee you, I actually promise you on this night, I will show you my butt. <laughs> That's all I got. Thank you so much. Please welcome back a man who has definitely sent several men to a hospital from a Waffle House, Fred McKinnon.